Oh, that looks creepy. Ten bucks for this. Ten? For you, eight dollars. See how the price has gone down? It might be broken right here. Broken. The it's mouth. Down to six dollars. Six. So for you, if you blew it, five dollars. <laughs> I take it for five. Mm -hmm. Babe, you want to move this on the side? Yeah. Years ago, when I walked down the street and I see water coming out of that. Were you interested in the Tommy Bahama sandals? Uh, how you much? Why would you go ahead and have them? Just have them? Take them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I saw you holding them and I was like, going, he probably wants it. And you know what? They're almost like brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they're very comfortable. They're probably the comfortable uh, sandal that I've yeah. ever had. Thank you. I How much is this one? Uh, let me ask her real quick. I'm not positive. I'll have to ask Mark because I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, they'll be back. Um, ten dollars. Ten? Okay. I'll just take the t-shirt. Okay, great. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So I couldn't film everything that I picked up at the garage sales. I'm going to go over really quick what I picked up and how much I paid for it. I picked up this Fresno Golden State California sweatshirt. Paid a dollar for it. North of Boston Dia sweater. I will have to give it a wash because there's a few stains on it. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. And I paid a dollar for this one as well. Picked up these Vineyard Vines Penguin pajama pants. So picked these up for a dollar. George Webb Loft Tees Extra Large T-shirt. I'm not sure how much he was going to want for these Tommy Bahama sandals. The guy ended up giving them to me for free. I picked up these Prana Extra Large men's shorts. I might just keep them for myself. I paid a dollar for these. Picked up this Mickey Mouse hat from Disney, but it's got a Nike symbol on the back. Paid a dollar. Paid only a buck for it. So the lady originally wanted five for this label writer. Seems like it comes with everything. It has the manuals, the cords, vintage spooky comic book. Paid five for both. I got this lion mask. Paid only five bucks for it. It does look like it's kind of broken right here. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to super glue it and then mess up the mask or anything like that. So I'm going to have to just sell as is. So that was everything from this yard sale haul that I picked up. If you want to stay up to date on what I've sold so far and what I thrift, go ahead and follow my TikTok down below. My TikTok handle will be right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch me on the next one. And thank you for watching.